Hi everyone and welcome to my stupid reviews and this video is a response to everyone that's been asking questions about should I overclock a 3770? Let's take a look! <sighs> this is a response to everyone that wanted to know about the 3770 and the 3770K if we should overclock it. What I've done for this test is I've taken a 3770K because that's the only one I've got. I've put it at default settings which is exactly the same as a 3770. It's got a turbo clock of 3.9. Now that will make a difference in these tests and I'm, I'm going to just run the test so you can see the difference here.
got here is similar to another video I've done about the 4790 and the 4790K. The differences aren't that big and I was surprised. See I'm used to getting a couple of extra settings out of my games like The Witcher 3 for example, the 970 overclocked. If I overclocked that and overclocked my processor I would get two extra settings I can move from high to ultra and I, I like that kind of thing. But in the real world the differences aren't that big. What we have here is we have Battlefield and GTA. Both those games are showing you slightly lower scores on the one that's not overclocked and slightly higher top ends on the one that's overclocked. There's a more consistent smoothness of frame rates when you're playing. It doesn't dip up and down as much. It still dips up and down on the overclocked version but not as much. I wasn't seeing any bottlenecks. I, I wasn't having a, an enjoyable gaming experience. Actually I was having pretty damn close to the overclock experience. If you're someone that doesn't want an overclock your K chip or if you've got a 3700 you're fine, your processor's great, it's fantastic. And I think the game show that. I think either processor, you're on a winner. If you wanna make me very, very, very happy, put a like on, sign out of YouTube, make another account, sign on again, log on, click like, and do that about 10 times, and that will really help me and I'll really appreciate it. If you didn't like the video, then yeah, put a thumbs down, dislike it. At least that way I'll be able to know if you're liking the content or not and I'll try and improve it as I go along.